Hello, my good friends. I'm back to you once again. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening everywhere that you are. Today, we'd like to introduce a very new topic that is going to be in a form of series that will last from now through to 2022 and beyond until we exhaust everything under the topic. And this topic is the politics of Africa and historical antecedents. When it comes to stories about politics of Africa, they are endless and a lot of things took place from the prehistoric time to the present day. And our presentation is going to cover everything from political economy, from leadership and governance, as well as the essences of some of the leaders that Africa had in the past and how they dealt with the rest of the world as well as how they are still dealing with the rest of the world. Let us take it on straight forward. Politics of Africa and historical antecedents. Politics of Africa has its roots beyond the contemporary political history and antecedents in Africa. And in this, our new series, we will look at very interesting political antecedents and happenings from the prehistoric time to the present day politics of Africa. This will be from governance and leadership, political economy, international relations, and essences of political leaders and actors in Africa from the prehistoric time to the present day. And it's going to be very educative, informative, and entertaining. Please kindly subscribe to our channel, One Forum News Channel, for the best. We promise you the best and we'll deliver the best. Today, this is the maiden edition and we'd like to consider a very great man. People like him and some don't like him. But let's look at the life of Jean Bedel Bukasa. This is our maiden edition and Jean Bedel Bukasa born 22nd February 1921 and died 3rd November 1996, will be our center of focus. He was also known as Bukasa I after installing himself as an emperor in his country, Central African Republic. That sounds funny, right? He was born to a village chief by name Midungun Bukasa and his mother was Marie Yoko in Bubagin, near Equatorial Forest in the then colonial French Equatorial Africa. Jim Bedell, as he was popularly called, was very young when his father was beaten to death for opposing French rule and companies in his village in the past. His mother couldn't bear the grief and pain so she, she decided to kill herself. She committed suicide a week later after her beloved husband was tortured and beaten to death. Jim Badel Bukasa struggled through life and at last found comfort in joining the military, which was the only way that he could afford and make name for himself. All seven in the second battalion the march, Bukasa became a corporal and a sergeant major in November 1941. Frankly, after the occupation of France by Nazi Germany, Bukasa served with an African unit of the Free French Forces and took part in the capture of the Vinci government capital at Brazzaville. He also participated in the famous Allied forces landed in Provence, France, in Operation Dragoon, and he fought fearlessly in southern France and Germany in early 1945 before Germany was finally toppled. Some may say Jim was a warrior, truly he was, and he displayed that both in France and his home country, Central African Republic. Jim Bukasa, after attaining many military laurels 
in France and Central Africa Republic, became very interested in power and was always displaying his military decorations and sitting very close to the then president of his country, President Dako, as his chief of defense staff. Though this was against the protocol, Jim Bukasa always seized the opportunity to present himself to his people as a chief of defense staff in a very grand style. The other members of Dako's government were suspicious of him, but as usual, because of his cunning nature, the president brushed it aside by saying at an official dinner that, I quote, Colonel Bukasa only wants to collect medals and he will be too stupid to pull off a coup d'etat. Sadly enough, in 1965, that was exactly what he did to his superior and boss. He announced on radio begging that, I quote, your army took control of the Dako's government, and the government of Dako has resigned completely. That sounds so interesting and very familiar when it comes to Africa. Jean Badel Bukasa became a military dictator in Central Africa Republic and served as the second president for 11 years and later as a self-proclaimed emperor for three years after he felt that he was bigger and larger and richer than his country, though the country was still a de facto military dictatorship, he was ruling them like a king in his kingdom. His imperial regime lasted from 4th December 1976 to 21st September 1979, before he was successfully overthrown by the very military that supported him to overthrow his predecessor. This very gentleman siphoned money from his country, bringing the country to her knees till today. Jean Bedel Bokassa was later, as usual, tried in absentia because he ran away and sentenced to death. But in a very mysterious circumstances, he returned to the Central African Republic in 1986 and was put on trial for treason and murder. In 1987, he was cleared of charges of cannibalism, but found guilty of the murder of school children and other crimes. The death sentence was later committed to life in solitary confinement, but he was forced and freed in 1993 and lived in a private life and lived a private life in Bangui and died in November 1996. This is very common when it comes to African politics. You commit atrocities, you are sentenced and committed at a point and live freely to enjoy the booty. Till today, Central African Republic is in economic and political turmoil, and only God can save them. The lesson here is, where are his descendants today as we speak? Thank you so much. Subscribe to One Forum News for the best of news every day, every time. Thank you.